We're still looking at the potential for thunderstorms in the afternoons and evenings, but we're going to increase the amount of available moisture for some of these storms the next couple of days. I'm Ed McIntosh in the Q2 Weather Center, where you see the purple or blue shaded areas. That's an indication of where we're seeing more moisture available in the atmosphere. We'll see this Gulf moisture stream into the region, especially by tomorrow afternoon and evening. That could give rise to a little more active weather situation and about the same on Friday. Could even be a bit more, especially closer to the mountain foothills, and then start to taper off after Saturday. Sunday, Monday, a lot of the moisture starts to get shunted out of the region. So let's zoom down and take a look at the potential here on our high resolution forecast analysis. A few isolated storms for Wednesday evening, mainly creating some wind. But here we are by noon Thursday and already seeing an increasing chance of some thunderstorms around the Bighorn Mountains in northern Wyoming and southern Montana, and perhaps a little more active by tomorrow afternoon. Wind is still the biggest threat, but we could see some stronger storms as well. Now, as we take it ahead into Friday, that green shaded area around Harlington, Livingston, Columbus, that shows where we have the potential for some stronger thunderstorms in the convective outlook. I wouldn't be surprised if that green shaded area is expanded a bit towards Billings and even into southeastern Montana as time goes by. Temperatures in the morning will be mainly into the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, 80s to low 90s. We're looking at that chance of showers and thunderstorms increasing.